So while I was watching the S2000, got some parts in for the Mini. So we're gonna pull the Mini in, add some new go fast bits to it, fix some check engine lights, and probably wash the Mini and maybe head out to a meet. So let's get into it. start by taking off the old intake which is fairly simple a couple flat heads a couple clips two electrical connect three electrical connectors and two vacuum hoses one third electrical connector. Now we can pop off the inlet hose from the turbo to the air box. That loose. Let's just pull this back, angle it up, and out she goes. It's got a little bit of oil in there. I am going to add a catch can eventually. Well, whenever they come back in stock, the M7 Countryman specific oil catch can. And now we can move on to the air box itself. There's one T20 Torx bit over here. I believe we already got it out. Yep. There might be one more on the back side. Nope. It's just all compression clips and it should lift up from here. There it goes. Might have to pull this hose out of the way. Ah, fresh air tube got to be pulled out. Grab the flathead and undo the little corners. There's two. Should pull straight back now. With the fresh air tube, it is out, and we should be able to just lift the air box straight up. And she's out. Alright, next you're going to want to grab a T30 Torx bit socket and remove the mass airflow sensor. So we'll be needing this for the NM intake. Now we can start mounting the fun stuff. Alright, set this aside because we'll need that for later. You're also going to need to cut off the clamps from these two hoses here, this one here, and this one here, and then we get rid of these pieces, these two. And then we'll add the NM resistors to the electrical connectors so we get rid of the check engine light we currently have and add some performance parts. So I'm gonna cut these off and then get into putting in the new stuff. And now we can start assembling the MAF on the NM bracket here. So, you wanna make sure the flow is pointing the right way, which the flow is this way. Run the bracket. Applied hardware through. It's one. It's ten millimeter hex and a, f a ten millimeter nut and a four millimeter Allen key or hex key. Start those. Alright, 
and then I'm just tighten these off camera and grab the right, the right tools. Then once you're done assembling the mass airflow holding unit, the mass airflow mount, excuse me, you want to set it back here and the two mounts that the OEM intake box went to. So that's right there and right there. And then And then you want to use the 13 millimeter washer and nut that was supplied in the kit. And then tighten that up on the bottom feet here. It's going to be hard to hold the camera and show you exactly, but once I get them started, I'll take the camera off the tripod and show you what I mean. Looks like a tiny RBC. It's kind of funny looking. All right, so those two 13s you want to tighten are right here and right here on the bottom side. All right, let's get back to putting on the rest of the kit throw the resistors on, zip tie them up, and finish up for the day. All right, we got the intake all set up and ready to go on. Let's go under the booster, into the turbo inlet, and then keep going, keep going. Intake on there. Push that guy down and the intake's in. All we have left is the air filter. We'll throw that on now and then we'll get some sound clips. on the NM intake that you can see right here behind me on the mini. We got a lot more blow off valve sounds and a little more induction noise, which works for me. It says it's good for about four or five horsepower, which also works for me too. So getting ready to give the car a bath. Um, you guys don't have to see that. Um, if we don't go to the meet, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if we do end up going to the meet, We'll put it on the end of this video. So, I won't say bye, but we'll see you later.